Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you might or might not know, Semu has a new supported API, which is Vulkan instead of OpenGL. And it's been there for a little while, but then only for patrons. But now they have implemented it in the regular Semu version for the main public like you and me. So I'm gonna open Semu. At the moment I have 1.15.20D. The reason why 1.15 got stretched out so much is because 1.16 was the Vulcan build. And uh, yeah, before I update though, I want to check the speed of Semu 1.15. So this is a Wii U CPU benchmark tool. It tests the speed of a single core. It does some testing and you'll get a score in like milliseconds. The lower the milliseconds, the faster it did the whole process. So in my case, it did around 22.2 seconds, which is 22,214 milliseconds. And my specs are in the description, by the way. Now let me close Semu, open it again, and do the update this time, and it will be Semu 1.16.0. I'm gonna test the benchmark first. Okay, I think I just crashed Semu. Well, the OpenGL one didn't work, so let me try with Vulkan. Okay, that did not work. So the benchmark, uh, I don't know. Um, we'll have to wait. <laughs> let me compare the two graphics APIs and I'll put them next to each other, I guess. So the game I will be testing this with is, of course, Breath of the Wild, because you can have unlocked FPS, which I do have to enable. So I'm going to turn off all my graphic packs, which kind of hurts me. I am going to enable the fence skip, and I'm going to download the latest community graphic packs, just in case. So now I'm first going to play with the OpenGL one. What is happening? Create new cache, use existing cache. I'm gonna use my old cache, but it's recommended to use your new one, but I have OpenGL, so it should be better with my old one. So now we wait, but I don't know how long because the bar disappeared. So uh, yeah, BRB. All right, so after, I don't know, five or 10 minutes, I am finally in game. All right, so it, it took about 14 gigabytes of RAM, uh, including my OBS, of course, and Windows. So I don't know as, like exactly, but it could be like 10 gigs of RAM, uh, it just loaded in. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna see how fast it is with the regular OpenGL API. How is it still like 60 FPS? What is this bullshit? Okay, so I hopefully am not gonna get higher than 165 FPS because the 165 FPS cap is on there. All right, getting 104 FPS while standing here with the original OpenGL, original like 720p resolution, nothing too special. All right, so then we're gonna walk down here. We have around 90 FPS. Yeah, around 100 FPS. All right, so my GPU is getting used about 91%, but it's also, you know, working on the OBS that I'm using, obviously. And my CPU is being used about 50%, but with OBS, as I keep saying, I know. Now I'm gonna switch to the Vulkan API and I'll be back. It's having a big disadvantage of that it has to build shaders. So I don't know how much that will affect it, but we have around 55 to 70 FPS in here. It's still building shaders and stuff, you know? On AMD, you will be having way better FPS than with the OpenGL, but I have a NVIDIA graphics card, so I shouldn't be noticing too much of a difference. Maybe even a little less, and that is what hap what is happening right now. Oh, monies, 90 FPS. Uh, I should build like new shader cache, so, I would get higher FPS, but at the moment we're having 70 FPS, kinda. But I mean, you know, it's it's still kind of working with the wrong shaders, which is already a big wow. So yeah, I get around 70. If you have AMD, you'll probably have better. 
better performance than uh, this. Also, there's probably already some new shaders. I just have the old shaders for OpenGL. So my shaders will be in the description. And uh, yeah, here's some footage of them side by side. As you can see, the OpenGL one for me has more FPS. But this one saves me about 10% of CPU and about 20% on GPU actually. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and peace out guys. Peace. Drive hard. Drive Mustang.